OK, so today we're going to look at how you can put shortcuts to files and folders on your desktop in Windows 10 and Windows 11. Stick around. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this guide is going to show you how you can put shortcuts to files and folders on your desktop in Windows 10 and Windows 11. This is handy if you want to basically quicken the process of opening a file or a folder that you use regularly. So as you can see, I've got no files or folders on my desktop. Now, what I'm going to do, first of all, is show you how to put a shortcut to a folder on your desktop. So what you need to do is you need to find the folder on your computer. Now, the best place to look is in any yellow folder and go to documents and you'll probably find folders in there. You can also find folders in pictures, in downloads, music and videos. But if it's a folder that you're working on for work, then it's probably going to be in documents. Now, here's my folder here, the forms folder. I want to put a shortcut to that. So rather than every time I turn my computer on, I have to go into yellow folder, then go into documents and then go into forms. It takes time. It's quite laborious. So I'm going to speed up the process. Now, what we're going to need to do, first of all, is we're going to need to go to the folder where we can actually see the name of the folder. So as you can see here in documents, I can see the forms folder. Now, what we want to do is we want to put a shortcut to this on the desktop. Now we need to see the desktop as well. So if like me, you can't see the desktop, then just try moving your mouse to the right hand side of the screen and see if your arrow turns into a double headed arrow. If it doesn't, then click on this little button up here, the double box button in the top right hand corner of the screen. Now this might reveal part of the desktop. If it does, great. If it doesn't, and it's still pretty much full screen, then just move your mouse to the right and then you should see the arrow just change as you can see there. Once you see the arrow change either into a double headed arrow or an arrow pointing towards the left, then hold down the left mouse button and then drag your mouse across to the left just as far as you need to to reveal enough desktop. Once you've dragged the line far enough, let go of the mouse and there you go. You should now see the desktop. So find a blank area on the desktop. And then what you want to do is you want to move your mouse over the folder that you want to create a shortcut for and then click and hold the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse, not the left. So click and hold and with it held down, drag your mouse across to the desktop and then you should see move to desktop appear. Once you see that move to desktop, then let go of the right mouse button. And then you've got three options here, copy here, move here or create shortcut here. So what you really want to do is you want to select the third option, which is create shortcuts here. So left click once on create shortcuts here. And then there you go. You will now see you've got the forms shortcut. So if I close this down and then double click form shortcut on the desktop, there you go. It goes straight into it. Now, what if you want to create a shortcut to a file? So say, for instance, I've got this projects file here. I open it quite regular and normally to get to it, I have to click on the yellow folder down there, click on documents and then click on projects. There you go. It opens, but that was quite long winded. Now I want to create a shortcut to it. So the projects file is on my desktop. So again, I move my mouse over the file, like the projects file that I want to put a shortcut to on the desktop, click on the right mouse button and hold it and then drag the mouse across to the desktop until we see move to desktop and then let go and then left click create shortcuts here. And there you go, the project shortcut now appears on the desktop. And if I double click that, there you go. The projects file opens up straight away without having to go through all those folders. Now, the great thing about having a shortcut on the desktop is if you accidentally delete the folder 
of the shortcut or the file of the shortcut, the file and folder will still remain in their original place. So say for instance here, I delete the forms folder by accident just on the desktop there. I'm going to get the forms folder. This is the forms folder here. This is where it's shortcut into is the forms there. So if I delete that forms off of the desktop by accident, let's just delete that. As you can see, the forms folder actually remains in documents. So I'm just going to recreate the forms folder. That's all you need to do is just hold down the left mouse button over the folder you want to recreate, drag it to the desktop, let go of the right mouse button and left click create shortcuts here. So it, it kind of make things, makes things safer so that if you do accidentally delete a file or a folder shortcut off the desktop, the original will stay on the computer. Uh, you can also do this if you've got a shared drive on the computer, you can create shortcuts from shared drives too. So as I say, I've got a network drive. So let's just go to the network drive. So, okay, so I've gone to my network drive and here's all the different places I've got on the network. And I wanna put a shortcut to the shared folder on the uh, desktop. So again, all I do is click and hold the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse, not the left. Move my mouse across to the right there. And then once it's on the desktop, in actual fact, this time it doesn't say move to desktop. I've just got a square. So once I see that, then let go of the right mouse button. And again, I've got the option here to copy here or create shortcuts here. We don't want to copy. We want to create a shortcut because we don't want to copy all the information from the network drive onto the computer. We just want to create a shortcut to it. OK, so left click, click create shortcuts here. And there we go. We've got a shortcut to the shared drive and now when I double click on that it takes me straight into the shared drive and all the files and folders are in there. So there you go I hope this guide helped and if it did consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel or if you can't do that have a look in the description down below have a look through my Amazon shop which is in the description down below or if you're in the process of buying a VPN or a Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube or Fire Stick accessories again have a look in the description down below we've got loads of great deals down there for you. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching and bringing you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see anything whilst you're here that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. If you want to check me out on X, formerly known as Twitter, I'm at CWTEK. Or if you want to check out my website, it's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks very much for watching and speak to you again soon.